there, I'm Cassandra from Writings.com. We've bought and tested over 120 printers, including 11 so far this year. As usual, we test all of our printers the exact same way, so you can compare all of your options equally and figure out which one you should buy. Today, we'll be looking at the best home printers to buy in early 2022, depending on your needs. We consider performance, price, and availability when choosing our recommendation picks. Although some of these picks have been pretty hard to find since the pandemic started, we're still recommending them since they are really some of the best out there right now. We don't want to recommend a not so great printer just because it's easy to get. This is a simplified recommendation, meaning we can't cover every type of usage in this video. We suggest that you start here just to narrow down your options based on your needs and then dig into the details later. If you do want to learn more on any of these printers, then you should definitely check out our website for all of our detailed reviews and some pretty cool comparison tools. All right, let's get into it. Our top pick for the best family printer is the Brother MFC J4535DW. It's a bit bulky since it is made for a home office, but this means that it's packed with lots of features. It has a flatbed scanner to scan things like recipe books or textbooks, and there's also an automatic document feeder in case you need it for the work or for school. You can print several thousand pages in black and white and several hundred pages in color before you need to make a trip to the store. The cartridges are a bit on the expensive side though, so it can get pricey to replace them all at once, but again, you shouldn't have to do that too often. However, like many recent Brother printers, its photo quality isn't that great. Pictures look washed out and grainy, and there's a faded white strip that shows up on the sides of dark photos. If you print a lot of photos, the Brother printer won't be the best choice for you. In that case, we recommend the Canon PIXMA TR8620. Its photos look amazing. There's no banding anywhere, and there's hardly any grain, so your photos look really sharp. However, you can see some color in the gray areas, like in the grayscale in our test image, which might be distracting in a black and white photo. It struggles to reproduce some colors exactly right, like deep blues, reds, and blacks, but the color difference isn't really that distracting, so your photos will still look really nice. If you do need to scan the occasional form, recipe, or essay, it does have a flatbed scanner and an automatic document feeder, so it's a good choice for non-photo uses as well. On a downside, you can't get that many pages out of it before the cartridges are empty, though it isn't as bad as some other models we've tested. Despite the fairly inexpensive cartridge cost, it'll still quickly get expensive to print with this one. Of course, your photo needs might be different. If you're into photography or you print photos for your small business, the Canon ProGraph Pro 300 is a better choice. It prints incredibly nice photos and it has one of the best color accuracies we've tested, as you would expect from a professional photo printer. That said, it's quite pricey and the cost of replacing its 10 cartridges can get expensive as well, so this choice is best for enthusiasts. If you're looking for something dedicated to office use, the HP OfficeJet Pro 9025E is a great choice. It prints a good thousand pages before you need to replace its ink cartridges, and it prints pretty quickly too, though it's definitely slower than most laser printers. Like many models on this list, it's an all-in-one, so it has a typical flatbed scanner and automatic document feeder. A huge plus with this one is that it scans double-sided sheets in a single pass, so it means it won't take that extra time to flip over and scan the other side. Speaking of the scanner, this model does have a weird issue where scans come out a bit crooked, which is obviously a big problem if you need to scan or send out many forms and documents. Of course, this list wouldn't be complete if I didn't mention a laser printer. If you don't print frequently or if you want faster printing speed, the Canon Image Class MF743CDW might be perfect for your small business. It prints much faster and you don't need to worry about its toner drying up the way that you do with ink, so it's not as important to print regularly. If you're on a budget and still want something that performs well, have a look at the Brother MFC J4335DW. It prints way more pages than many other printers at this price, so you won't have to buy cartridges too often, which is especially nice since buying them all at once can be a bit expensive. It prints pretty quickly at 15 to 17 pages per minute, depending on if you're printing in color or not, and its automatic document feeder scans quickly too. Unfortunately, its photo quality isn't that great, even if you used a high quality setting. Photos look really grainy, especially in dark areas, and blacks look washed out. It's fine for a reference photo and a recipe or for custom stickers, but you'll definitely want to consider one of the photo pics we mentioned earlier if photo quality matters to you. If you're looking for something even cheaper, the Brother MFC J1205W might interest you. This printer is surprisingly good for its price, and you can get lots of pages out compared to other inexpensive models. Of course, it doesn't perform nearly as well as the J4335DW, but it's still a great choice if you have simple printing and scanning needs, like if you're a student that mostly prints essays. Maybe you're the type of person that only prints a few pages every couple of months, and you don't want to deal with clogged print heads or dried up ink. In that case, the Brother HLL2370DW is a fantastic budget laser printer. As mentioned earlier, toner doesn't have the same problems that ink does, which makes it a really great option if you don't print often. 
Now, it doesn't have a scanner of any kind, and it prints in black and white only, so obviously you need to make sure that you don't need color or a scanner. If you've ever owned a printer, you probably already know that printers are really great at giving you many headaches. We know that it can be really tough to find a model that's exactly right for you, since there are so many different models out there, and many of them are not that great. While you likely won't find the perfect printer that does everything well, you can definitely find one that takes off all the boxes that are most important for you. Of course, there are lots of models we weren't able to squeeze into this list, like many of the Epson EcoTank printers that we've tested, but hopefully this still helps you to narrow down your options. If you want more help, don't hesitate to comment down below or send us an email. We're always happy to help you find the best product for your needs.